Hi, my name is Nick Morris, Tobacco Road Harley-Davidson Triumph Raleigh, and today on Halloween we're going to talk about scary fuel and air. So first of all, start off where everything starts, which is your air filter. This is a paper element, kind of a stock deal, um, pretty restrictive, and, but uh, keeps a lot of the dirt out and everything, uh, and that's what the purpose is, is to keep dirt out. Um, but again, it's uh, pretty restrictive and sometimes it'll get pretty dirty, you get bugs and things in these pleats. Um, but that's where the air begins to come in. Now, this one is more of a high performance filter. This one's a little dirty, <laughs> um, but this is a cotton element and you see the red color on it, that's oil. The oil is meant to keep uh, smaller particles from coming through it because this has a lot less coverage than a paper filter. Um, and it'll go on a backing plate like this, which leaves it open, whereas this is completely covered back and front. Now we move on to two major ways that fuel gets into your bike. If you have an older bike, probably have a carburetor, maybe not necessarily like this one. Uh, this is a Makuni, and it's a mechanical carburetor, which means every time you pull the throttle, it opens the slide. Now there's another one that's called a uh, CV carburetor, which is vacuum operated, which when you pull the throttle, it lets a vacuum come into the top and it pulls a uh, uh, diaphragm up, which pulls the slide up as opposed to actually just pulling it by pulling the throttle. And this is a cutaway version of that. So we can kind of show you some of the guts and what happens in here. So where it all starts is the fuel goes in here, which is the float bowl. And this is the float. As the float rises, it'll uh, let more, it'll let less and less fuel in there until it's all the way to the top of its throw, and then the fuel stops. And if you can see inside there, there's a main jet and a pilot jet. And the main jet sits in the very bottom of the bowl, and that's where your wide open throttle comes from. And you can see the slide actually work right here. As it comes up, you notice it pushes down the accelerator pump as it gets more and more open. And another thing that it does is this needle goes down into the tube that the main jet is in and it's tapered. So you see it gets more and more clearance as it comes up. And that just lets more and more fuel through until uh, you're wide open on the throttle. <clears throat> That's a pretty neat piece just to kind of show you the guts and how everything works. Um, and then now on modern bikes, uh, just about everything is fuel injected. Um, fuel injection is quite a bit simpler and not as many moving parts. Um, basically all you have is a throttle body and it has a butterfly in it. This particular one's mechanically actuated, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, electronically actuated. Um, it's a fly-by-wire throttle body off of a touring bike, um, particularly a twin cam. And basically what happens is, is this butts up against the cylinder heads. These injectors go in there and what happens is, is the ECM sends a signal, says, hey, I need some fuel and this end will spray some fuel down into each of these and go into the cylinder heads to be burned by the engine. They just kind of slide in there like so and they plug in and there's also a uh, manifold air pressure sensor there um, supposed to be in there uh, that a lot of a lot of the sensors and everything depend on the ECM to tell them or this ECM depends on the sensors to tell them when to tell the fuel injector to go. And it basically just, like I said, shoots fuel right down into the cylinder and into the head. And that's how you get fuel and air. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me at nick at tobaccoroadhd.com or leave them in the comments below. Thanks.